Hey guys, what is up and welcome to a new League of Legends gameplay for this one will be on the PBE server playing the new reworked Yorick who doesn't even look like Yorick anymore. He looks like like Gul'dan or some shit from World of Warcraft. I don't know. He looks he, he, do, he definitely looks pretty damn sweet. So I'm gonna quickly go over his abilities and or his taunts rather see what he does Okay Okay, oh, okay, hey all right. Honestly? Wait, what the fuck? What the fuck is this? <laughs> what the fuck is that? What? There it goes. Wait, what? Oh, it's like flying through his hand. That looks so damn weird. I mean I'm sure I'm sure they'll fix that. It's still a PvE server, but that looks really, really weird. But either way guys. Playing Yorick, so if you haven't seen my video talking about his abilities, I'll quickly go over them right now. His passive pretty much is just around his, uh, you know, his new ghouls that you can summon, and you know they walk too far away, they slowly die off, blah blah blah, that kind of stuff. Uh, then you have, um, or oh, and every 12th unit that dies near York will leave a grave, and champions will 100% leave a grave. His Q is just an auto attack reset, does bonus damage, heals a bit, and if you kill a unit, it summons a grave on the ground, and then you can use it again when it's on cooldown. If you have three or more graves, three or four, and you can summon, you know, those amount of ghouls. His W is just like a pretty much mini Vagar E that you can break, but uh, Alice can walk through. His E ability is like this little uh, cone thingy where it just does percent damage based on the current HP, slows him, puts a debuff on them where your ghouls are just much more attracted to that person, and your ultimate, you summon this big ass, big ass B, I would say even. And, and she, she's pretty strong, man. I already tried it out, pretty, pretty, pretty damn strong. Like, his ultimate is fantastic. Like, it is just so good. My goodness. Like, you can do so much with his ultimate, especially once you're just hardcore pushing in a wave. Wow, that's never lucky. Especially once you're like hardcore pushing in a wave, you know? Oh my goodness, it's amazing. This is gonna be a funny lane. Well, oh, that's awkward. I'm, you know, that's okay. You know, it's the thought that counts, my friend. It's the thought that counts. I need to turn on the light in my room once uh, I can. So, you wanna try last hitting with your Q whenever possible because you wanna get these. Um, you want to get these graves in the ground, so watch. Once I, I'm gonna kill one more, and once I kill one more, I will summon my uh, ghouls. You guys will see how it works. Cool. Especially with my E now. Check it out, I'll show you guys. Right here, once I kill this one. Boom, boom. Right? Okay, now watch. And they jump on her. Yeah, look at them go, dude. Look at them go, dude. Look at that, look at that, look, just look at that go. Like, it, that's, that's pretty insane, man. So I actually, prior to this game, I did face a Gnar. I faced a Gnar in the top lane. And I will admit, it's like a mini game against the Lawa sometimes. I will admit that people like Nar, it's a pretty bad matchup because Nar can just jump right out of my E, right out of my E instantly. Uh, so it's a little difficult to kind of deal with that, if you will. Nice. Summon all of these graves on the ground. Ooh, man, yo, this is like a mini game. I'm <laughs> barely dodging all this shit though. Oh my god, allow this champion! God damn, that hit me. Okay, I want to kill one more of these bad boys. You want to, if possible, have four of them right there, right here. Right oh man, I could have actually got it there. Oh. Jump them, my friends. Boom! Smack that ass. All right. This, this, is this a colleague coming in for a gank or rooting? Because I mean, we're not gonna kill him. Like we're just simply not. I can actually stop that back. I think. Damn it, I tried. I tried. He's gonna teleport back in though for sure. But in the meantime, I wanna set up my graves because the fact that he teleports in now, right? Boom. Boom. Come on. No, not like this. Messed that up kinda hard. Okay, I wanna turn on the lights very quickly, guys. Very, very quickly. Just so that, you know, we have uh, a little bit more better vision in this camera here. No sums mid. Hey, the Yasuo is just 200. Wait, what the fuck? Holy shit, that's the, uh, the Chroma Yasuo, that looks pretty sweet. Now, I don't know if the Graves actually have a duration that they stay, like, they go away after a while, I'm not entirely sure actually. That was close. Alright, there we go, I think I have four of them, right? Ooh, mama. Damn, Allow is getting strong. What did she buy? She only got a Ruby Crystal and she's she's doing quite a bit of damage to me, man. I'm not even gonna lie right now. That that actually kinda hurt. So let's go ahead and back to base. Now, usually Sheen is actually really good on him. Like you wanna go try for Sheen, it's it's pretty damn good. Um 
But unfortunately, I can't really afford that yet, so I'll just go ahead and get this. Teleport back into lane. Hopefully not miss too many of these. I should be able to get the rest. Ugh. That's unfortunate. Really? That's, that's pretty chill. Okay, that's fine. So 35 CS. Okay, the Lao only has 14 CS though. So we're actually out CSing her decently well. Let's see. Is she back or... No, she's still, she hasn't even back to base. No, she hasn't. Wow, she's been back to base. Jesus. That was an accident. I actually didn't want to summon the ghouls. So that was a complete accident. Oh. I, w I wanted to use the uh, the Q to try and uh, just get more graves essentially, but I messed that up again. Does that make a grave? No, I was hoping it would. That'd be pretty cool. What's the mana cost on my Q, actually? Let me see. Um, it's only 125? Damn, that's really good. Alright, so what, this ultimate, guys? I mean, I'm not even... This could be okay, actually. Look at that, like, it's just, you, you can't mess with this, man. You can't mess with this. Like, this ultimate is just, it's so, it's so freaking good. Like, it's crazy. Unfortunately for me... Yo. Kill him. Oh, okay. Okay. I could kill that. Hey, nice, nice. Okay, okay. The Leona roam from bot lane. Hello to you too, my friend. Wow. Thank you for that roam. I mean, that I, you, you guys saw clearly like the 2v1 was pretty easy regardless, but it's just the tower that became a problem. Like the tower just made things um, a little bit difficult for me. I won't lie. Oh, okay. That was really awkward. I want to kill all these stupid ass tentacles because they're really annoying. Um, but like that ultimate just instantly switches the tables into my favor and like it's just... It's, just, it's, just, it's just so much damage, it really is. Especially considering the Maiden of the Mist here. She, she brings in her own ghoul, so you want to summon that first, ideally. With your own, obviously your own Q, right? You have your own ghouls, you have her ghouls, and then you use your E ability. They all they all get attracted to that person. And... Okay, I thought he was going to go on me there pretty hand, but he didn't. Just, oh, he might actually... I'll back there. I think. I don't know if I... He actually might not let me back. He's, he's going to push in this way really hard, though. I get boots actually. Let's get boots. Okay, so let's go back to top lane. 64 CS. Not too bad considering Elaw only has 19. Never lucky. Um, that's, that's actually quite unfortunate for the Elaw, but that's okay. So I'm gonna go top. Hopefully, not miss too much of this CS here, but. Um, oh, this is a Kali skin though. Oh shit, I forgot there's new skins in the PBE. What is this? Like, what the hell is this thing? What? Chef Akali or some shit? What the hell is that? Looks so weird. Oh yeah, and the Leona was using the new skin too. These skins are troll, man. You got Baker Pantheon, you know, reporting for duty. What is going on in League of Legends, man? Like, I don't even know. Oh, man, now that I have the Sheen. Woo! We're gonna, shit's gonna go down, dude. Well, I'm just gonna run. I would much prefer just not fighting you. She has a flash, though. So. Get these. Smack that ass, though. <laughs> dude, that did a lot of damage, though. That Q, I'm not gonna lie, that actually did a decent amount to her. Like, that just that just finished her off easily. But you don't want to fight in Lao's ultimate naturally. I mean, I don't have my ultimate. Maybe if I did, I would man up. If I had my ultimate, you know, I'd man up and try fighting her in her own. But this Sheen is just so freaking good. Like, it's crazy how good it is. Cool. Just summon all these bad boys here. That. That's really bad, actually. Actually, this is really good. Sure, sure. Oh, dodge that. Hey! Man, the York was at no HP, so I don't know why he tried that, but I can push in this wave super, super fast now. Like, look at this pushing potential. Just, like, what do you do? Like, honestly, uh, alright, well, I mean, so unfortunately, I can't control this stupid, this stupid chick, like, I can't, 
I can't control her. Like, she's gonna take this tower and she's gonna die. It, I guess it makes sense because she is pretty damn strong. And if she's allowed to just sit there attacking the uh, the tower for free, and the tower doesn't prioritize her over minions, I guess that'll be pretty damn broken. But I mean, even without that, it's, it's already pretty damn broken. Like his laning phase, other than like a counter matchup, like I honestly think Nar is a really bad matchup for him. But other than people like Nar that can just easily get out of his W and just really kite him super super hard, pretty damn strong. Man. Yasuo, maybe? I feel like Yasuo could do pretty well against him. Actually, probably not. I don't know. I was going to say he could do pretty well against me because I, I give him all these ghouls to dash around, which is really good for Yasuo. But at the same time, it's like, if he's in my face, like all I have to do is auto-attack Q him every single time. And he's going to be taking an insane amount of damage from that. So maybe it's not that good. I don't know. But, you know, if I ever fight this Yasuo one-on-one, -on -one, I guess we'll find out. Now, this Yorick is chilling, getting his boob up. Like, the thing with this Yorick rework is, I feel like what you want to do is you, you want to you keep pushing in top, man. You want to chill top. You want to push it in. Keep pushing and pushing and pushing, and that's pretty much your job. Once you have your ultimate, 2v1 in you is extremely difficult. Like, it's it's very, very difficult. Unless uh, you're very behind, or, you know, someone is very, very ahead, or, you know, whatever the case may be. God, Q damage, my lord, I love this Q damage. It's fantastic. Hey, smack that. What does this Yasuo have? He has a Phantom Dancer. That's actually not too bad. Honestly, like, this Yasuo is actually 2 0, 84 CS. He's, he's actually pretty strong. I don't think I can kill him. Like, if I have my ultimate, I'm pretty sure I can. If I don't have my ultimate, it might be a little bit more uh, difficult. He's also freezing in this wave, so. I'm just gonna go ahead and let it chill for a bit. I'm gonna go see if this red buff is up. Maybe join my team or something. Oh, he's probably dead. It's not up. Damn. I was hoping it'll be up. But, oh, I'll just go back to top. He's pushing in the wave now, finally, so. Should be good to go. So since my W is actually destructible, right? You can, I'm assuming, target it. Does that mean he can just dash on it and dash through it? Is that a thing? I don't know if that's a thing or not. Oh, got it. Nice. Not that it matters, actually. I'll summon these just for the fun. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna split push the hell out of this game, dude. Like, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna become like the split push god over here. But I need more CDR. If you get 40% CDR, so if I get, if I get the black fever, that's 40% CDR, and my Q cooldown is gonna be so damn low to the point where I might actually be pretty OP. God, that's so disgusting. Kill him, girl. Not like this, man. Hey. Alright, that's fine. I'll just keep pushing this in. That's not a problem to me, man. Oh, man. Those, min those ghouls, man. I don't know. He's so fast, fuck! I can't catch him, man. I'm trying to catch him, but I'm pretty fast too, honestly. But he's faster. He's definitely faster. I need to kill all of these minions. I need to get my ghouls ready. So, hey. Hey. I run. I actually run. I actually run fairly fast considering I only have level one boots. I mean, yeah, I got the triforce, but oh my god, this is literally a mini game. Oh my lord, Jesus Christ! Can I stop? Can you stop? No more, please. So I mean, some of my ghouls, I guess. I mean, there's that. Don't forget to put age restriction. I mean, I don't know, dude. Like, it, it, this is pretty damn strong. Like, this is, this is this is definitely pretty fucking strong. <laughs> 
It just depends on what you're facing. Again, when I faced the Gnar, like, it wasn't horrible, but it definitely wasn't anywhere near as good as this. Um, but when facing someone like, you know, Alawe, the thing with Alawe, if you dodge your tentacles, right? If you dodge your tentacles, oh, oh, what? You're back already. I have no mana, I can't fight her. But I have enough for... Almost have enough for Stereo CH, but I feel like maybe I might go for the Black Cleaver instead. I feel like the move speed offered by this is just going to be so good. The CER, 40%? Whew! Okay, let's do this. I want to get it. I want to I wanna test out the 40% CER, and I'm just going to teleport right back to top. I mean, my job in this game is literally to make this top lane a living hell for the enemy team to deal with, you know? I want to be as annoying as I just humanly possibly can, so... Oh, he ran away, dude. If I got that Q on him, I think I could have done something there because I would have got healed as well. Man, that was close. I, that was almost. A, I almost won before them, man. Like, in all honesty, that that bard was pretty much dead. This Yasuo was very close to being dead. That was almost a 1v4. And I wasn't even like insanely fed. Like I was fed. I was definitely fed. But I wasn't like fed to the point where I'm like 10-0. Uh, too long for him. I'm pretty sure they removed EQ off PvE, didn't they? I thought they removed it. Dude, that Corky looks so good. That Corky skin is fantastic. Come on, he's dead. I, I don't really want to sell that. I want to keep it. I was going to sell the bottle and just finish off the Black Cleaver, but I really don't want to sell the bottle. It's still really useful, like especially in that kind of scenario where I was fighting that many people. I just pop the bottle, it gives me more damage, gives me that little bit of extra sustain, which can help with Ignites even. Um, it's just not something I want to lose. But but the, the awkward thing is, by the time I get back to mid lane, boom, my gold is enough for yeah, the Black Cleaver, so it's, it's pretty awkward in that sense. But. I feel like... I feel so, so strong. I feel... I feel so strong, like you have no idea. Like I just feel like I can take on the world right now. I'm not even gonna lie. Dominating. Unfortunately, his Q doesn't apply in towers, but. Oh. oh, the wind wall, though. Oh my God, that wind wall just saved him. Fuck, he's tanking now, man. Oh, he's got some defensive items there. Okay. So, well, she got him. She got him. Or not. No, I'm trying to make my graves, bro. Oh, loads of you, good sir. I'll tank this for you guys. Let's go kill this shit. Okay, so this is watch. As a team, this is where I can pop my ultimate right here. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Mama, Jesus, like what the fuck? I mean, my, my girl right here is just chilling, honestly. Just chilling. I'm kind of chilling too though right now. All right, all right, we we got played. We got played pretty hard. I won't lie. <laughs> God damn it, we got played pretty hard. That Yasuo all. Jesus. Alright, um, let's go ahead and do this. That Yasuo got us really good, man. So, okay, the thing with York is team fighting, I don't think he's that amazing in team fights because you have to set up his ghouls. You know, his ghouls have to be set up. Ooh. But you don't all miss, though. Nice, nice trying to dodge. Oh, but you only going hand, though. So in teamfights, you, like, you need those graves, right? You need those graves, you need to press that Q and summon those ghouls, and that's a lot of your like, damage, if you will. Just in general. Like, your Q is pretty good, your E isn't really that much damage, I mean, minimum 210, I guess it's not too bad, but the cooldown on it is actually only 5 seconds, it's actually not bad at all. Um, but, obviously, if you have your ghouls that deal so 131 damage per auto attack, that's a lot. That, that is a decent amount, and that's several of them, let's say you have 4 of them, that's times 4, that's a lot of damage. So, that's kind of where, I guess, a lot of your damage will be coming from, and if you have them, it's really good, but especially if you have this girl, and she summons her 3 ghouls, or mistwalkers, Jesus, like, it's just gonna go down, dude. 
But the problem is just actually setting it up the scenario to where you have the ghouls ready to go in a team fight because once the team fight happens, you know, you're not gonna have any graves around you unless you somehow already managed to, you know, set it up prior to. Um Taught me not to watch explosions long. Well. That's funny. Um, but th that's kind of how it works. So I feel like it's defying potential unless you have it already set up with your graves or they come to you similar to like a Teemo ultimate if you will. It could be really good, but if you don't have it set up, it could be really bad. Jesus. Let's get this guy right here. No! I wanted an assist for that, at least. He's such a bully. He really is a huge bully in lane if you play him right. Again, I still think it does come down to what you're facing. If you're facing someone with range, like a cannon or like a Gnar that can kite you, it's it, it could be pretty difficult. But if you're not, then it could be pretty good. Maybe you can't die yet. Okay. I want my Sterex, man. I really want to. Go, ghouls. My ghouls just went off there, man. How's the Corky getting all these kills, man? I did so much there. This Corky is going. Oh, nice try, dude. Nice try, nice try. Oh my god, the greed. The greed is coming in hot. <laughs> nope, not like that. Boink. Oh, this guy's gonna. Oh, he wants that booty. Oh god. You can assist in that. Hey, I got the kill too. Okay. How the hell? My E ability ended up getting that? Lol. <laughs> what the fuck? My, my E ability ended up getting that? It doesn't do any damage. It really doesn't do that much damage. Because it's also current health, right? So the lower HP they are, the less it'll deal. I mean, I guess 210 minimum, but still. I don't know. It's just, it's just, I find that funny how I actually got it. I really want my Sterex, though. Let me smack that wall out here. I feel like a lot of people are going to be forgetting that the wall is actually destructible. Like, a lot of people will be forgetting that. And I, I seriously believe that to be the case. 2700. Go top. The dead have not forgotten. Okay. Hey. I think we can like, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, you think you're a little salty. Little big man. Ghouls? Jesus, that was close. This Yasuo, man, he's putting in the work, he really is. He's trying his best to carry this, but... I don't know, it's just not working out for him. But he, I, he's definitely trying, man. He's, he's, he's making shit happen, he really is. I'm so low, I really want Oh, I have enough for a Sterex. Okay, I want to back and get Sterex. Look at this thing go, I love this I love this ultimate so much, like, I really do. I, I seriously think it's just it's like one of the best ultimates in the game, maybe. His W doesn't feel that good though, I will admit. Oh. 
Sneak? Wait, can you do that? Wait, he couldn't go through this wall? Really? My, did my did it seriously prevent him from going through the wall? That's pretty broken over there. Holy shit. Yeah, I want that booty now. Too bad I want the booty too! Yeah, that, that's weird. The bar couldn't go through his port, uh, through through his portal. That was really, really weird. I guess because he had to be a little closer to the wall to actually be able to go through the portal. But oh my god, I'm actually might die. Just not, not like this. Not like this, boys. Get that kill. Oh, I missed the kill. But either way, guys, there you have it. The Yorick rework, some gameplay in the top lane. Now I do want to make one more, maybe. Playing him in the mid lane and just going like a full assassin, just full damage Yorick build. I think that'll be a lot of fun to try and test out and see how it goes. But either way, guys, there he is, Yorick in the top lane. The new one, the reworked bad boy himself. Pretty damn strong, I have to say. It really does depend on what you're facing. If you're facing some kind of counter like Kananar, a little bit difficult. But you can still have a lot of lane presence. You know, a lot of lane presence, just keep pushing it in, blah, blah, blah. That's still there. But if you're facing someone like, you know, Laowei or someone where you can dodge abilities and are also melee or just essentially overpower them in general. Very, very strong. Very hard to stop. Easily 2v1 with this ultimate, even 3v1 or almost 4v1, like you saw me. I mean, he's a split push monster. His team fighting potential is very okay. He's an absolute monster when it comes to split pushing. So if you're a top laner who loves split pushing, I think you found your champion. I really do. But either way, guys, that is it for this video. If you did enjoy it, hit it with a thumbs up. Hit that like button. Show some support. Thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you for the next video. Peace.